Hey guys, Ninja Llama here. Do you have unwanted guests in your house or adventurers traipsing through your CTM map like it's a winter wonderland full of cows and pigs? Well, let's bring them down a notch. Okay guys, let's start out with a basic hallway trap. This one is really easy to set up. You just have to lure your adventurers into a false sense of security by placing redstone lamps before this area um, so that way they can use them to just limit the natural spawns. However, when they get to this area, they will pull a lever which will drop the floor out from under them. Um, it's devious for several reasons. Uh, the most obvious is the lava will destroy their items. The second one uh, is that because they're in a liquid, they won't be able to mine out in time. Um, the third is that the, the ceiling will close back over them, so that way they will not uh, be able to easily pillar out. Um, you can replace this, you know, with, uh, you know, just spawners or, or, you know, dispensers with potions or just a fall trap. If you don't um, want it to be particularly that difficult or evil, just depending on how you want that area to be. Um, like any good infomercial, uh, wait, there's more. Um, this trap I also like to use uh, at the end of areas, like all these lights are just dummy lights. Um, but when you get up here to the end, you see this chest and the player would think, oh, wool or, you know, good items. But when they open the chest, they will be dropped down into yet another pit of lava. Uh, this one does not require a timer like the other one does due to the fact that it outputs a signal when a person's looking in it and as soon as they quit looking in the signal goes away which will reclose these. Um, so basically anytime they're opening it they'll be falling and then if they exit out um, it will close and they will not be able to click back on the chest which will keep them out. Um, I uh, use these a lot because they are easy to set up. Um, let's go ahead and switch the time of day here. Um, the lever that you want to control, I just have it hooked up to a basic uh, RS NOR latch with a reset built in. Just threw in a small delay here. So it'll open them and then reclose them and it's just has redstone running along a block behind the pistons. Um, this one over here is much the same. It just has a comparator off of the block below the chest because when you open it you'll see that it lit up and it will invert the signal and attract the pistons. Um, these uh, are are pretty useful I find. Um, very careful or observant uh, adventurers may notice them because they may just not want to use any redstone uh, things in the world or they may notice the slight tinge around the chest but um, that's just part of the fun trying to catch those adventurers who are not paying attention um, but let's go take a look at the next kind of trap okay guys the next one I'm gonna show you is is probably uh, another one of my favorites I normally choose uh, stone bricks because it blends in really well if you pay really close attention to this chest it's not trapped um, it's normal, but if you look closely, there is a hopper um, underneath this chest. Um, and you would put this chest uh, in an area where you think the player might store items or set up a base. Um, let's say the player comes back from adventuring and they have a bunch of miscellaneous gear and they'll throw it all in the chest and they'll continue to store stuff in here and maybe go off on more adventures or, or who knows what. But you know they create a base and they create um, some extra torches so they say oh I'm gonna keep you know half my torches and, and I'll put some more in here and when they place torches in here it will go down and um, they'll just die and they'll be like oh uh, you know what happened but let's go check it out um, the thing I like about this is you can set it to be um, very surprising uh, because it'll only set off the trap based on one particular type of item and you can you know you know any stackable item you can specify so let's go back and check out how this works uh, you can see all of our torches are gone because that is what I had used to set it off if we look in here you'll see I have a hopper filled with torches Oop, and I got a bow because I accidentally pulled all of them out of there but if we fill this up to 18 and then the rest of these full 
this is one item short of it putting out an output signal of 2 because I believe uh, the output signal of 2 is like 23 I think 18, 19, 20, yep so um, when it hits 23 torches it will um, output the next highest signal and then when it does it will hit this repeater which will uh, just turn all this wire on and this is just a quick pulse circuit which goes to this uh, this clock and uh, a pretty quick clock and this just you know turns this on and it'll you know stay on and this was just filled with um, I just had this full of uh, instant damage two potions uh, so let's say we throw another torch in there it'll go through and it will just start uh, you know cycling and this will continue to cycle until they uh, you know disable it and all it is is there's just an upward facing uh, a dispenser right here um, and it'll just you know the potion effect reaches through it so that's pretty handy um, I really like this one it, uh, I like the fact that you can set a specific I thought there were torches there um, a specific type of trigger you know to to set the, the trap off so it can be anything really anything that stacks you know like torches or, uh, or redstone or uh, ender pearls anything that the heroes might collect and this is also just the trigger idea you could set this up to trigger uh, like a floor drop trap like I had in uh, you know the other previous the previous examples but um it's just really however you want to do it. This is just my take on it. And now let's go take a look at one last design. Okay, guys, here we are. Um, setup's pretty easy for this one. Uh, you want to kind of make it look obvious that there is a trap here. Um, it's basically just to add another level of, I would say, paranoia to your map or just to make the players not understand, you know, what is and what actually isn't out there to hurt them because um, most players would come along this corridor and they would uh, you know see this tripwire or maybe you know you you not even hide it very well at all and they would be like uh oh you know a tripwire I don't want to step on that and there's a dispenser over there so you know most people you know would break uh, break the tripwire and then you know just run open the chest but uh, you see it it shot a potion at us um, and that could be, you know, hooked up to, you know, a clock like the other one to shoot a bunch of potions, um, or, or you know, really a floor trap or anything. But the weird thing about this one is that actually, if you step on the pressure plate, and we'll put the string in here so we can see, and then open the chest, we can get at the redstone, and um, you know, nothing happens. So what the deal is, is that that trip wire runs to this repeater which will actually lock this other one which prevents the dispenser from firing um, so like uh, you know if nothing's on there and, and we open this up you know it'll shoot the string out at us but you know if the strings there and we open the chest you'll notice that the wire doesn't pulse um, nice little addition um, I think um, I'd like to uh, you know thank you guys for watching this if you'd like to see any more little traps or tricks that I have just please let me know and I will post those as well well guys I want to thank you for watching and please remember to use these ideas with caution because they can lead to some nasty side effects such as player item loss player rage quits and making the player doubt their general self-worth so use with care and always thank you for watching Please remember to like, favorite, subscribe. You know what to do. I will see you in the next episode.